Peter and I met in 2014 through a mutual friend. It was kind of funny because a friend of mine asked me if I could help him to set up a concert in a, I don't know where it was, in a bar or something. And I couldn't do it because I was on holidays with my kids. So I said no, but um, I said you can, you can let Pete stay in our artist apartment here in Cloud Hill because we have a residential area in the studio. And a couple of days later, I get a text on my phone from Pete saying, hey, I checked out your studio. I saw you have a huge uh, collection of old typewriters and cameras. And uh, so we shared that hobby of collecting typewriters. He asked me straight away if I could produce his solo record. And I was surprised, obviously, because we haven't met before. And um, I asked him if he had any good songs, any new songs. And then he started sending me demos via, I think, via text uh, messages. And a week later, we met here at Cloud Hill and started pre-producing uh, the record straight away. In the Monday news, all their stories to keep you amused. After listening to his demos, I thought that it's, it is very important to keep the original vibe of the demos, the original vibe of the artist. And I always try not to put too much stuff on the record. So what I did was, um, Peter and I sat down in the studio and he played me all the songs he had, like 20, 25 songs. When I heard Pete play his songs just on an acoustic guitar, I thought that was very, very touching and very special. And I had the vision to put him under the microscope and I knew that this would create one or the other kind of painful moments because that's just what happens. As soon as you put something under the microscope, you get so close that sometimes it's a bit strange and weird, but it was exactly that strangeness and weirdness I wanted to show, because I think that's very special about him. I think the record, Hamburg Demonstrations, compared to his previous records with Baby Shambles and Libertines or his other solo record, I think the sound is totally different and that's what we wanted. And I wanted to use old school recording techniques. We recorded the whole record on an 8-track tape machine, for example. I never learned how to cut tape, so I'm not editing on tape, which means <laughs> that I simply use full takes. And uh, that creates a certain intimacy and a certain vibe because you keep some special moments you, might, you normally might would have cut out. That's what we never did. So we just played a handful of live takes and then decided which one to use. And I think you can really hear that, especially on Peter's vocals. There are a couple of vocal takes on the record where he just sings one full take and that's it. And sometimes it's a bit edgy, the vocals are a bit edgy and a bit uh, strange, but it's exactly what the record is about. It's about showing everything of the artist. So the reason why different musicians perform different songs on the record is really easy because musicians, the musicians I chose have a very special character on their instrument. And I think you can hear that in every second on the record that nothing is just played from a professional musician because he got paid for, paid for it. For some songs I chose English musicians. For example, on the song I Don't Love Anyone, 
There's Ian White and Leo Karunas from the English band Gallandrunk. Because I worked with Gallandrunk before and I knew about the rhythm section and I thought that very special performance of drum and bass in that band that could suit one or the other songs of the record quite well. And on the other songs, it's mostly German musicians. It's a, a, a female bass player called Sonja Glass from the uh, band Boy, for example, because I knew she was a, just a great bass player and I wanted to have a woman in the production team. That German drummer, Tim, I worked with on a couple of songs. He plays drums totally different than Ian White, the English drummer. And so I just decided which kind of vibe I was aiming for. And then I chose the musicians to serve the song's needs. The whole record, Hamburg Demonstrations, is about creating a very intimate feel. And that's why I wanted to work with musicians I knew beforehand, because, because we're talking about very important emotions here. And it's always easier to talk about emotions with people you know. There's one way, one way to settle this, the fairest way. Fairest way that exists I have a skin full And sing these up mother bro Magnifying some aspects of an artist like Pete Doherty is, is a special process. Um, and I know I've been criticized for that. Uh, the way he sometimes sings on the record, the way he sometimes plays guitar on the record, it might not be always what you are used to hear because it's special. But it's exactly that specialty, it's exactly that uniqueness I was aiming at because, because otherwise it's just boring. Nobody wants to hear another polished uh, mainstream record from Pete Doherty. Maybe some people won't, but I'm just not interested in doing that because I think it's interesting to show the uniqueness of Pete and that's what's on the record, Hamburg Demonstrations.